Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax, and today might be a little controversial, but I'm going to title this video No Bias because I am of the opinion that it is, in fact, possible to be unbiased in a given situation. Obviously, it's not possible to be unbiased in your entire life. You know, you're going to have a perspective, you're going to have a position, you're going to have beliefs and ideas about different things. And so to be unbiased, you know, 24 seven isn't really viable. And so I'm not really talking about that. But I honestly believe that in any given situation, it is possible to be unbiased. Um, maybe it's because I'm a little neurodivergent, not a little, I am very neurodivergent, but I firmly believe that it is possible to drop your biases and look at a situation or a circumstance from an objective point of view. Because if you think about it, if, if it is impossible to be unbiased ever, then really the term doesn't exist, you know, like if it's if it's not something that is possible, it doesn't exist. And so it's sort of a non starter. I, I don't think there's a whole point of talking about it. If it's just a fundamental thing, you know, it's like the air around us, we're not constantly talking about it, but it's there. Uh, so that it's always kind of confused me and people have always sort of in debates or in arguments with me, they've said, well, you're biased. It's like, that is the, 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 that creates an impasse, you know, that creates an unchangeable um, situation that you can't, you can't go around, you can't argue with somebody who firmly believes that. And it's always kind of frustrated me that people honestly don't believe it's possible to look at things objectively and look at things just by, you know, the facts that are pertinent to the situation. Um, I think I'm going to get a bit of pushback on this, which is fair, and that's fine, you know, go for it. But I do believe in certain situations, it is possible. Um, and the way that I think that I do it uh, is, I'll look at a situation, and obviously, I'll form my opinions and my beliefs about whatever it is pretty quickly. And I'll say, Oh, okay, well, I think this. But it's not hard for me to put myself in someone else's shoes or to try and imagine the situation from a different perspective. It's not difficult for me to see how other people might assume a different position or take up a different belief system. And through doing that, I think that kind of conquers the bias that kind of, you know, counteracts the idea that my perspective is, you know, based on all of the things I've seen and experienced throughout my life because I'm able to understand why someone would make a different choice or understand why people do decide to do things differently. And I think that is at the, that's at the nature of being unbiased and being able to understand the other person's perspective. If you want to talk about it in an example, take any kind of political situation, whether it is the whole thing around abortion, the whole thing around gay marriage, um, whatever topic you want, if you can't honestly understand why the opposite view is held by people, then you're, you're biased. Like clearly, if you are unable to understand why an evangelical Christian and a left-wing gender studies major would understand this concept in a different, from each other's perspectives, really then you're the, you're the one that has to deal with the bias. But I can confidently say that I understand both positions on a lot of these big debates on these like, you know, let's take creationism for an example, the idea that the earth is 6000 years old, and it was created on a Tuesday or whatever, by God. Um, I can understand why people believe that I can totally like having read the Bible, having understand having grown up in a religious um, community, I totally get why some people do think the earth is 6000 years old. I totally understand why people don't think it's 6,000 years old. I understand the geology and fossilization and stratigraphy and laws of superposition and all of these things. I get both positions. I have my own position for sure, but it's not a biased one because 
it doesn't come from this like I don't know, I guess it just doesn't come from this perspective of of um superiority or anything like that. Like I completely understand why people view things in both ways and I I view my own way fine. But to say that I'm biased because I hold a specific belief is not necessarily very fair and I think it's a little bit um I don't know, it just it it undermines the ability to have conversations like this. And I think this is one of the reasons a lot of people have a problem with postmodernism. If you don't know, postmodernism is this kind of idea that everything is relative, everything is uh, a subjective experience, and there are no facts, there are no hard realities. It's all based on your perspective, your identity, uh, what you have been through in your life, your minority titles, your labels. Um, and postmodernism is one of those things that I am a little bit tired of, honestly. I think it's going out of fashion and it will continue to go out of fashion. Obviously, what was before, which was like structuralism and the idea of like everything is solid and everything is factual, that has its problems as well because there are gray areas and there are things that don't classify well enough or don't fit into one category or the other. But I think in general, this idea of postmodernism has been largely, I don't know, seen irrelevant. I'm sure a lot of the mainstream people still think of it and, and worship it, worship at the altar. But the idea that you are somehow corrupted by your biases and that your perspective is invalid because it is biased you could use that against anybody at any time you want and it's just this disingenuous tool which i don't subscribe to if you, if you want to call me bias go ahead but you're gonna have to debate the methods and the merits of what i'm saying rather than just calling me bias you know like like don't don't just cheat and say well you're biased because you grew up in this kind of household in this kind of geographic area blah 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 blah, blah. no debate what i'm actually saying don't don't just play identity politics. Don't just conform to the, the norm of saying, well, you're just biased, Jax. No, actually talk about what I'm talking about. Debate me. If you think the earth is 6,000 years old, give me the facts. Give me the logic. Give me the science. I think it's pretty obvious to any reasonable person why I came to the conclusion I came to in terms of creationism, as an example. And... To say that I'm just biased because I'm not a fundamental Christian, I could say the same back to you. You are biased because you're a fundamental Christian. And then we haven't solved anything. We've merely butted heads. And yet people are surprised that postmodernism has become the mainstream thought. And people are more divided now than ever. It's because of this whole idea of, well, you're biased. You know, conservatives can't understand liberals. Liberals can't cons understand conservatives. Everybody is just biased. And then everyone throws up their hands and does nothing. So this is something that does really frustrate me. And I think it is one of the reasons you see this hatred for the other side, uh, whatever side, you know, you're relative to. And before postmodernism, politics and many of these debates were not as contentious and they weren't as difficult because... People could sound things out and debate things in an open manner and have an actually constructive conversation. Whereas since postmodernism has entered the lexicon and the general thought and the zeitgeist of what we're doing, most people will just chalk everything up to, well, he's biased, you know, and it doesn't move the conversation any further. It is really lazy. It's academically lazy. It's... Um, argumentatively lazy and I'm just tired of it you know I'm just tired of people saying well Jax you're biased so it doesn't matter and they use that to discredit everything I've said discount it and move on instead of actually saying well you know it's it's this because of it's this and and you know you have to understand that this concept applies here no it's none of that it's just your bias move on um, it's the equivalent of calling someone a Nazi it just, it doesn't work. It's not solving anything and it doesn't solve the problem. So I just think we should move away from this whole idea of your bias or um, 
and, and move towards the idea that no, it is possible to be unbiased. It is possible to hold a position based on the facts and the ideas and to actually do the work and go through the debate. If you're going to debate me, actually go for it. Actually, you know, talk about my ideas, talk about why they are wrong and incorrect. Do not just assume that I hold a position because I'm biased, because that is the most open-ended, impossible thing to debate. And like I said, it doesn't solve a thing. So that's my little thought. Do you think it is possible to be unbiased? Do you think it's possible to hold a position based on the facts and the ideas and the circumstances, the structural stuff, the physical truth? Um, I'm so tired of hearing these things like, oh, the sky isn't blue. It's whatever you perceive it to be. No, the sky has a very apparent wavelength color spectrum that in most human eyes is blue. Um, so I don't know. As, as someone who was raised in the universities with postmodernism, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of professors using it as a lazy excuse to not talk to students about these issues and things like that. Anyway, thank you guys for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too much of a rant, but it just was something on my mind that I wanted to talk about. So with that being said, as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.